Are you working? What kind of work do you do? How did you get your name? I got money. Yeah, everybody uh, asked about his name uh, to get it mixed up. Um, man, that's a good question. Uh, honestly, man, you know, uh, my name used to be Shy Self, and it was Shy Self because I was like, a, you know, always to myself. Real shy and real to myself, so it was Shy Self. And then uh, once I teamed up with my squad, the unit and stuff, you know, I started looking around me, you know, I got... You know, 50 Cent, Lloyd Banks, so I guess I should be shy of money, you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? I'm, I'm here to get this money, and they say you speak words into existence, so I put money to my name, so it can speak money into my existence, you heard? All right, all right, That's all right. What it's about. What's been your, your secrets to success, or what are your keys to, to maintaining your position? Stay humble, first and foremost, and make sure you got your right connects, bro. And Save your money. <laughs> Don't spend it all. It's about giving back. You gotta let your blessings come through from what you give, so you gotta give back. I didn't make it until I did it myself. At that time, it wasn't about titles. And to this day, it's not about titles, because that's what I learned moving forward. Right. Back then, I wanted a title, you know what I mean? Right. Nigga, I want the check. Right. You know what I'm saying? So, check this out. Mm -hmm. You know, from that, you know, I'm an engineer, self-taught. Right. I'm a producer. That's my mm -hmm. that's my skill. Mm -hmm. From there, I became manager. Mm -hmm. Next thing you know, son said, "Yo, we got the label, man. I want you to run." At the same time, I'm about doing one thing great. I could do a million good things. I want to do one thing great. The digital world is way advanced in us, a uh, real intelligent world. So what we got to do is find ways to monetize. The independent route is for people who really believe in themselves, entrepreneurs who really feel that they got something special. And I wasn't going to let the industry tell me that this, what I was knowing was right, wasn't going to be it. Really, you got to make, make, make noise yourself, get it out there, and then you start calling. So that independent route, that, 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 that mentality that no risk, no reward is what I stood by and stand for still. That independence is what you if you if you believe in something you gotta you gotta embrace it like that so they can believe it and that's what I did and that's what that independence thing was about. What's the best way for a new artist who's coming out who has no financial backing? What do you think is the best route for him to get into the game to break into the industry? First and foremost, make sure you're hot, make sure you're talented, make sure you're not just feeling yourself and your your cousin and your girlfriend is feeling you so you feel like you can challenge the world. You gotta make sure you hot, man. There's a certain way to do that within your community first. And then you'll get your community back in, your local DJs, your local radio stores, your local mixtape stores, and you get your buzz going locally. And then that grows organically. And then on the net, you see what Soldier Boy did. He put this was a 50 cent record, mm -hmm. and it was his record. So it's ways to get your name out there and be smart about it. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna tell you all the secrets for yourself. You gotta learn it and figure it out yourself. But there's ways to break artists and for them to get into guys like me that actually sign them. So, I mean, it's just about putting yourself in position Get on your knees, praying and believing in God for your for your for your um for your future and your career that you really want to do this and the blessing is going to come. I mean, the, honestly, the best approach for me or anybody is to do it yourself and have us come chase you. Just don't come off over cockily and just speak right, man. Don't come, yo, son, you know, I'm touching, touching, stink breathy, like you know what I mean. It takes this person that want to listen. A lot of people they don't listen. You know what I mean? They waiting for a gimmick. Waiting for you to rap about moon and stars, but we on the earth. The best route of going for getting the beats from I mean, I just, well, or whatever. just really reaching out, sending them emails. I know it's hard because you can't get a response if no one responds. Mm -hmm. You gotta um, go out to them concerts, have them the knapsack full of tracks. Um, you know, get up with the artist, man. Put yourself in a position. You know, I, I remember standing in front of record labels doing this, going and like I said, my first track, I was I was on a street team. I put myself in a position where I worked for free to get the opportunity to get money. So you got to do things like that. You know, I was on a street team, just handed out Nas books for free. You know what I mean? And 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 Cormega, he took the CD on some real nigga shit and he listened to it for real. And this was one of his beat tapes. Mm. And I mean, that's my story. Everyone's gonna have a different story, so it's just putting yourself in position. Everything comes together as long as you align it right. And as a producer yourself, you must have heard a lot of their music. So, what what's everyone sounding like these days? Where's everybody? How's nah, everybody screwing up? No, no, no. I mean, you get some beats that are so horrible and make you don't want to listen to the next CD. <laughs> But then you, you got to keep searching because then you come off this one CD and the kid be fired. And then it'd be like, all right, this is why I do this. Because you want to find the next dude who's just cutting the edge and keeping the years flowing to the next level of hip hop.